Welcome to the Creative Plane Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Welcome to our first episode of Star Wars Edge of Empire Scum and Villainy. Outlaws run on Outlaw Station. Hired by Scarlet Katar, known pirate and shipjacker, the band jump into action. Gathering the things needed to steal their target, the smuggler ship, too soon. Promised great wealth, the beings are splitting up for a simultaneous strike. The smuggler pilot is securing departure clearance, while the gunslinger seeks to stall the ship's occupants as they head about their business. Meanwhile, the hot hired gun is securing the ship's hangar. As camera focuses in on Outlaw Station. So each of you, as you've heard in the crawl, were hired by Scarlet Qatar, known shipjacker. She's of course wanting you for your, your brawn. She has good taste in that. You for your fast hands. Anything that'll get me out of there. And you for your piloting and ship jacking skills. So why don't we go around and introduce our characters since it's your first time. I'm Kelly. I play Ovasu Salwa, the Twilight smuggler pilot. I am Bunch of the Hut. I play the happy, and of course I am a hut. I am Mira Crystal. The, um, I'm a, uh, a, a chiss uh, gunslinger. He thinks this man, he jokes. Well, I wrote it in pencil. <laughs> I wrote it in pencil, and the top part is very gray, so I could be... <laughs> <laughs> or it could just be a pseudonym, you know? I'm more cop cost pencil. Okay, so go ahead and read what your motivations are. Uh, Avasa's motivations are to beat the odds. Ooh. Um, uh, She wants to be the best. Like no one ever wants. <laughs> Is to fly and yeah. beat the odds. Flying, is that your real test? <sighs> to go places, is that your cause? She's got to it's race like, and win them all. That or use the airlock to get rid of certain personnel. Pilot! <laughs> 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 yeah, um, uh, yeah, that's my motivation. Okay, and Xander for Pudge the Hut. I will be famous, that ambition. That is my motivation. The most famous hut ever. And for near. Uh, well, my motivation is power. We can the fastest gun in the West or wherever we are, the Western arm of the galaxy. Uh, but my motivation is is ostensibly wanderlust, but it might also be that I'm hiding from the many enemies I've made. So, but uh, that's that's not the real reason. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you beings always wanting to be the fastest. Slow down, I promise it is working. Okay, so I will give you guys a little information it, that you would have already background checked. <clears throat> Does someone have a good knowledge underworld? Um, no. I have high intelligence. I have three green. Yeah, three green. Anybody I have that? a green. Okay. Is anyone good with computers? I am. Okay. Go ahead and have Ovasu roll for her computer skill. It's going to be average difficulty. Two purple. Um, oh no, that's not a failure. That's a okay. Apparently, I have two successes, but I have two threats. Two threat. Okay, so the two successes, I'm going to go ahead and give you that you got information on the hangar. You managed to hack into the hangar's camera. Ah. So you can actually see this is the hangar where the ship is. You have large cargo door here, mm -hmm. small door here, small door that goes to the hangar next door, a large cargo door, and a cargo lift that takes cargo up and down if need be. And you notice that there are two security droids in here plus a sentient that keeps walking around coming in and out of the ship every now and then and locking the ship up. What type of sentient? Uh, it's a uh, Trandoshan. Yeah. The lizard guys. I know who they the are. anti wookies Okay. Slave so, traders. Which one of you I two would be like better with slave traders? Which one of you guys would be good with streetwise? Um first I would have to find I'm actually okay with it. Go ahead and roll me a streetwise. So I, I my my just to, uh, so it's cunning. So 
So my cunning is two, and I have one yellow. So, so it's one green and one yellow gets two purple. I like how she's pointing the gun. Yes. So is he. We this have to do our, our light side, dark side. Okay. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Let's do that first, because I need it. Two mm -hmm. light. One light. One dark. So two, two light. Two wow. Light, one dark. That so. is good. The, the, the light side, dark side points want to support you. Yeah, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for me. Okay. So I, got, I got one failure and one success, so I got nothing. Yep, so you, you tried to do your sweet streetwise skill to get some information on your the marks that you're going to be keeping busy. And I did not find And them. apparently you just can't find any dirt on them. So, Pudge of the Hut, would you like to give me a knowledge underworld? Against two purple. Still, it's three green against two purple. Uh -huh, so for side. people that are listening, each of the dice has a little picture on them. But some of the little pictures look like other pictures. It's only one. You only. <clears throat> I did not put much into intellect. Oh, okay. I'm honest. You got two what? threats. Two, uh, one, one threat, threat cancels out. So one threat and a success. Okay, so. You're gonna take one strain, and you're gonna take one strain. That was your threat, basically. You you were hustling, you know, so take one strain. Well, you had to move. But on your <laughs> success, since you did get success, you know, apparently dirtbags talk to the huts. You know that oh, the command and control officer, she actually is dirty, and will take bribes of money if you have money to offer her to to give you clearance. You can tell. Your Twilight pilot who's going to be going there, that information. I know how to get some money. Yeah, but I ain't got no money. I know how to get some money. Young pilot. The person in charge of letting you go is dirty. You can bribe her. I know. I, uh, okay. Yeah, and we don't have the credits to bribe. Let me handle it. Uh, knowing okay. us, I think we could make them easily. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna wander about in the. Uh, is this a, like a city or a? Space it, it's station? a space station, outlaw okay. station. It's so it's, it's, outlaw it's station. in hut space. It's fairly That's rough and tumble, fixed. but it is got a huge feeling of civil civilized uh, there. So if you you kill someone, you want to make sure it looks like they they started something. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna kind of cash around in the bars until I can find somebody shaking down somebody else, and then I'm gonna shake them down. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. so while you're there, you actually <clears throat> notice a uh, thuggish guy yeah. kind of smacking around some card players. He's been losing hands, and he's blaming them for being a cheat, so he's basically smacking around this bottle. It's this human pirate. So, uh, okay, so uh, I'm going uh, to head over to that table. Okay. Oh, cool, and just, uh, uh, looks like it might be too rich for his blood. Why don't you let me take a seat there? Ooh. Let me sit down. Okay. Okay, have him deal me cards and cards. Okay. 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 I don't care how I play, because whatever he does, I'm going to accuse... I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> okay. I'm going to accuse him of cheating. There's a, if there's a wookie at the table... <laughs> so go ahead and roll... Doesn't matter. What's your... <laughs> well, well, you never oh, yeah. know. You may yeah. legitimately win. Go oh, ahead yeah. and roll your cunning against a purple and a red. So I've got two cunning, two green. Right. Purple mm -hmm. and red. Do not get this bad. It could be that, you know, you could get Savak. So the hut and I are at a different table just watching? Yep. Uh, two threats. Ooh. And two. two but three successes. Three successes. Wow. Okay, actually, so you have a good. winning hand. Oh, good, okay. Now, do you want to reveal that you have a winning hand? Uh. <clears throat> Well, he's got a ton of money, right? This dude. Or he's got well, enough money? it's not. A t it's it's a couple hundred credits. That's enough to okay. for a bribe. Yeah, but it is enough. You for get bribe. that if you win. Could I get it if I win? You could get about half of it. Uh, I'd be more than that for the bribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, so um, you win this hand. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna win this hand. Okay. And I'm gonna next hand. I'm gonna let him. Try. Okay. So go ahead and roll the same again for the second hand. If you win again. And this guy's like, you know, he's he's watching your hands. He, you can tell he's, he's getting ready. He's going to accuse moment. you of cheating. You, you know, he is just a piss poor sport. Yeah. yeah, he's the type of guy if he can't get his way. Pilot, I which is good you that you want to win first this. Hand. Oh, me. okay. Go ahead and turn one of those greens into a yellow. So you're using one of your light side points. Watch him get this. Try him. 
And two successes. Two successes and three threats. Okay. Okay. Two so, successes. You actually yeah, legitimately is, win. But then he's gonna be like. Uh, Unfortunately, he is he, literally <clears throat> as you drop your winning hand. He grabs the table and flips it. Okay. And he's starting to draw for his gun. That's awesome! Okay! Meanwhile, uh, we're unobtrusively drawing our our weapons just as backup. We're going to let you do your thing. We trust you, but... No, I shall show you what to order. I'm going to draw... This drink's not already Wait till he starts drawing. (laughs) Because that makes it legal. Uh-huh. Until it pulls out, starts pulling out the guns. And I don't think point. that makes it legal. Oh, in cowboy days it did. <laughs> it is as long not as you let the other guy pull his I'm gun gonna out. I'm going to wait until it, it comes out of his holster and then improved quick draw and then quick you strike. You do have out. improved quick draw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm letting, and... I'm letting the guns come out first. Okay. So he flips the table. I'm just still sitting in my seat. I kick Give it Give me back a, a ranged light roll. Kick it back a little bit. Okay. And then... Let him pull out the guns, and then as I'm tilted back in the seat, guns come out. Just start rolling. His guns are out at me, so I'm waiting until mm-hmm. he's pointing. Yeah, okay, so just, give me, just give me a straight range light roll to okay. see who... So I got two yellows, and then two greens, or just two yellows? Uh, it's... What's your uh, agility? My agility is four. So it's two greens, two yellows, because okay, so you have two ranks and light, it. right? Something tells me you're beating him to the draw. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Okay, so yeah. Oh he, my lord. He, oh, also I get a blue also if I go before him. Yep. So oh. so get ready to roll against two purple okay. for That's your shot. Okay. Basically, he is pulling his gun out, and he this guy is fumbling horribly because oh. because by the way, this is what he got. Okay. <laughs> and literally, it's like an eternity before he's cleared his holster and starts bringing up, and all okay, of a sudden. Sorry. I lean back, the chair falls out, I pull out, stand up, and I get to do my thing, and I shoot him. Okay. Okay, both guns. <gasps> That's oh, <you>. triumph! <laughs> triumph, both your guns just vaporize his head right off. As mist and ash hits the ground, as his body just slumps, and everyone's stopping and looking. And then the music starts back up, and people are going back to business. Okay, so I will collect the credits I was owed. Okay, and there's so basically you're getting a few extra credits since his, since his credits are still on the table. Uh, Might so as slide them your you way. Got any, you got anything on him? Too light. You need uh, he actually has a really crappy light blaster, but that's it. So how many credits? No, no you're not. So you're going to get about 530 credits. Sweet. This and drink if you'd good. like a vibro knife, I'll take. Oh yes, this drink will good if you're flying. <laughs> okay, and then all of a sudden, this this poor you know, being comes out. And he starts pulling the body away to go throw it away and clean up the mess. I'll uh, I'll toss him some credits. Aww. Aww. And, and he, he smiles at you. How many credits do you throw? Uh, uh, I would have been an appropriate amount. I have no idea. Four, four. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. I'll, twenty I'll bucks. Toss him twenty. So you have five hundred and ten three credits. Ten credits. Okay, which is probably about ten more than you need for a good bribe. Okay. 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 So let us set up operation. Two. So I'll, I'll uh, stand up to it, and then I'll just walk over to their table uh, with my drink, sit down, like, and push the credits over towards them. Okay. And, no, and the that, whole and that, the whole time, Scarlet Katar, your employer, she's a very attractive human female. She's just sitting there watching, and she just enjoyed the whole show. And you see this little, she just smiles, and goes, "I think I hired the right people here." <laughs> Good as, job. as she like kicks the hut's tail away from her feet. <laughs> Good job, but that drink is not no. That is not enough. Try that. Much harder. It's probably gonna cause brain death. <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry about it, friend. As the, <laughs> as the cup is covered in slime. <laughs> okay, so uh, she, she Scarlet Guitar looks at you guys and says, "I think it's time we set up because all of a sudden she pulls out her little calm and it chips." And it shows a bunch of guys getting off of a uh, ship at the hangar. Uh-huh. Because, because uh, our hacker here, she's got an open feed for the hangar's camera. Ooh, so yes, good job. I do. Always moving so quick. Okay. And so, she so your name is Pudge. They're, they're Pudge just, Duh. They're just barking. I am Pudge Duh the Hut. Well, some people are just barking. I don't know if there's other personnel on the ship. We okay. will find that out. name again? I didn't get it. Uvasu. Uvasu. Salwa. But okay. And if you'd like, you can, yes. you can all exchange com information if you have a com link. I have a com link. Um, I don't. I do not. Okay. 
So yeah. Scarlet and yeah, Carrie. I thought somebody else. Carrie's character does. Okay, okay. Carrie's character. Okay, so basically she's saying. Note okay. to self, buy a mm-hmm. Or at least put one out of. Very fa- hard to find one that fits on. Wait, did he have one? <laughs> no, he did not. Unfortunately, <laughs> he doesn't have. Credits. Well, I mean, you blew it. It's only twenty-five credits. I blew okay. you. Uh, you blew his head off. So even if he did, I mean. <laughs> he was making a call like it's all. Hello. It was either a piercing or a comm link in his ear. Okay, so Scarlet basically looks at you guys and says, I think it's time we get this show started. Moving so quick. And she basically gives you a rundown on the plan of uh, Ovasu. You need to get uh, command and controls clearance to let us go because they have the ship locked down as protocol for the station. Okay. Make sure you pay your bills. And uh, she thinks you're perfectly appropriate for the, the job. Oh, God. Is it a male? No, it's a female. Oh. <laughs> she might mean your pilot. Katara herself skills. was going to do this part, but now that she hired you, it's perfect. Okay. And for the hut, your job's to be the guy who goes in the door first. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. You're pretty good at romancing the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, can we do that oh, scene? Oh, that I don't be awesome. Awesome. <laughs> but no, and, you always set the best thing first. And uh, she slides a plastic film sheet to you that's got a picture of the gentleman who, who's in charge on the crew. And she says, I don't care what you do. Just make sure that they're tied up here in the station so they don't come back to the hangar before we leave. Okay. But of course, make sure you get on the boat before we leave. Okay. Okay, so I'm, my job is to find them, and I'm not saying this in character, find yeah. those dudes and keep them busy outside. Okay. You, you could do something nonchalant, like you get them in trouble, yeah. or you could, you know, she does recommend you don't get into a gunfight with them because they, they are seasoned bounty hunters. And then my job is to take out the board. For yeah, your job is to secure the hangar. And then wait for the crew to all meet there. Okay, because... so, and he gave me the 500 credits. Yeah. So okay. I can just bribe the good luck lady. Okay. The because the again. hut believes that they are, or no, you believe that. No, the hut. The hut believes. The hut believes that they're um, susceptible or open they're to o- a certain when you are negotiation. In, when you are in hut space, huts know much. <laughs> when you are not in hut space, huts know much. Is <laughs> <laughs> that an old saying? It's funny because it's true. It's okay. So Uvasu, you get to the command and control station. Basically, it's where folks get in touch with each other. So as you get there, there are a pair of security guards. Not top of line security guards, but security guard, security droids nonetheless. So how are you going to get past those droids? Um, and by how many the, are there? There's two of them that come the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> now technically, you know protocol is if you're a captain of a ship, you have the ship's BOSS, which is basically the ship's laptop. It's uh-huh. got all the ship's information on it. You can go into the ship and uh, basically they use your tablet for the ship to get your clearance and stuff. You do not have one of those. No. Well, but I do have a data pad that I could possibly... It's more than just a data pad, I believe. Yeah, it's a slicer gear. Yeah, it's slicer gear. So can I try and reprogram them? You can actually just try to talk your way, but you can, you can try talking your way past them, or you can try sneaking past them using an auxiliary entrance way. But you uh, have to have pick locks on the or map. use computer. Yeah. Is there an auxiliary? Uh... There is. Well, it's a space station, so there's auxiliary crawlways to yeah, get past. Yeah, I'll do that. So you, do you want to try sneaking and past? Uh huh. Okay. Give me either a skullduggery to sneak and pick the locks, or a computer to computer. hack the locks open. Hack the locks. It's going to be against two purple, average difficulty. And if you have slicer gear, you get a blue die. Oh, mm. I didn't so know So since you have slicer gear, you're using. The top of the line hacker software here. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, oh yeah, I definitely succeeded. Um, let's see here. I have one, two, three successes and two um, advantages. What would you like to spend your advantage on? Uh, can I remove the strain? Yeah, two. Of it, yeah, that will remove the strain. Okay. Okay, so you easily hack the access way, so you are now walking into the command and control station. Basically, it's a big boxy shape area mm-hmm. with a viewport, and there's a couple different computers lining the walls, different operators. So far, nobody's really taken notice of you. And there's a human redhead sitting at the command console, basically working on the computer. <laughs> um, do I know her name? 
You do know her as Overseer Jaka. <clears throat> the name um, like Overseer, she's got to use up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, walk up to and say Overseer Jaka. She turns around and gives you a respectful nod when she's sizing you up. And you, you get the hint that, that she sees you as not all unattractive. Uh-huh. With your presence of three. She yes. likes what she sees. And, and Twilight. She looks she says, you must be new here. Yeah, I am. Um, uh, can we talk? Sure. And she looks over to one of the other folks on the computer and says, No, sir, you have the calm. And she steps down and, and basically heads off to a little private alcove. Okay. What may I help you with? Um, I need to get, uh, what's it called that I'm... Clearance for departure. Clearance for departure for the too soon. The too s- You're not one of my staff, are you? Right. I think I would have noticed by now. If by staff you mean sexy lover. <laughs> it's like, if you mean like, staff by person. It's like, I could mind. be holding your staff if you're a guy, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going to flick my leku at her. Okay. And I'm like... No, but I could be. <laughs> okay, are you going people, to charm? People yes. love Twilight. Give right? me a charm versus a purple and a red, that, that which is her discipline. A purple and a red? A purple and a red. A purple and a red. A purple and a red. She's very disciplined. A purple and a red. She's in yeah. charge. Well, did you like to actually roll those? Because you just kind of drop them. <laughs> and you do have light side, dark side points. Yeah, I, let's flip the light side because Okay, so turn no one way. of your greens into a yellow. Because there's... I am worried. Three dark side points now. Um, oh, okay, oh, so let's oh, see oh. here. I have... Um, well, I have two successes. And I have two successes. Two successes. She basically yeah. is interested in your flirty flirtiness. Mm-hmm. So, um... She... Like, um, I'm not asking for free, mind you. And I, I oh. will, you know. But why would I want you to leave? And she kind of like runs a finger down <laughs> here, like who, and just flicks the end of it. Oh. I needed a doll. Like, <laughs> 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 it's nothing to say. I won't be back. And uh, she gladly takes the 500 credits and tucks it into her it's uniform. Like, um, so we can, you know, discreetly meet at a future time. Oh, and she wants to exchange hollow uh, net, net. I give her wrong info. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but also, basically stressing that this is discreet. Not just, I'm implying that, you know. Okay. The, not just, you know, it's like the too soon as well. It's too soon. It's too soon. Uh, I okay. get your okay. joke. Okay, but. so basically after you guys have a little moment there, she passes in the background, beautiful mm-hmm. stars. She she gives you the look like, uh, call me sometime. And uh, she says, yeah. your departure clearance will be mo- available momentarily. And she goes back to her comm. She takes the comm all back. Her guy goes back to his computer. She types it in, and she hits button, and a little plastic sheet with the mm-hmm. seat comes out. She gives that to you and says, your, your lockdown has been removed. You can depart at any time. They're like two and I'm gonna go passing in the night. Thank you. Island in the stream. Just kind of touch her lightly. Mm, okay. With my leku. Mm. As I'm passing Ooh. by, as I'm passing by Ooh. her cheek. Your leku brushes against Kept her, her. all sensual oh, fear that like you. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have. So I'm gonna wait till I find those guys walking around the okay. station. Mm. Basically, uh, when you find them, they're at the Casino Royale. Uh, one of the cas- seriously, yes, <laughs> the, this it's one of the big money makers. This place, the casino, it's the legitimate casino, not the dive bar. So you notice that there are five of them. By the way, mm-hmm. really rough and tumble guy who's human. He's got a couple cybernetic dealios on him, including fake eyes. Then he has a uh, Rodian, who's obviously his sidekick. And then three guys who you're, you you personally are sizing them up as not that tough of guys. They 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 look like they're apprentices learning learning the bounty hunter trade. But these guys are obviously bounty hunters looking for something. And they seem to be kind of coordinated because you notice they kind of split up in the casino, but then they all start eyeballing each other from across the room like they're looking for somebody. 
Okay. Uh, I want to make a uh, vigilance to okay. see if I can figure out who they're looking for. Okay, go ahead and give me your vigilance against two purple. So one green and one yellow against two purple. They're looking for an um, hot. Also, I'm used to hiding from people, so can I get an extra die for that? Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. Because that's mostly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And the blue paid off. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, two successes, <coughs> two triumphs, right? Mm hmm. And no, one, not uh, one threat. One threat. cancel each other out? Yep, those cancel each other out. Okay, and then. Fortunately, those cancel out your, your successes. You have one advantage. So, you have one advantage. How would you like to spend that? Ah. Uh, Give yourself a blue die on your next. Yeah, blue die. I'll take a blue die on my next. Okay. So you're basically watching them and okay. they're watching you. Let's see. They What's your stealth? My stealth is, uh, I have to look it up. Uh, none. It's just base agility, none? which is four. Okay. That's still pretty That's damn good. That's good. Because we'll see if maybe they may have spotted you watching them. If they spotted me watching them, that might solve my problem. <laughs> They do not spot you. Mm. Believe it or not, they rolled so spectacular. Okay. So let me try the next round. As well. Okay. Still looking. They're still looking. So this is two purple yep. again. Yep. And the green and yellow. And you know what? Just for shits and giggles, upgrade one of those purples to a red. Oh. 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 Wow. Either way, it'll put me in an interesting situation. You may bump into the wrong person. Actually, not that bad. Not too bad. Is that actually some successes? That's actually yeah, a bunch of he's successes. He's got three successes, so technically you've got two successes and one uh, advantage. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, I'm going to find the dude. So who okay. are they looking for? So you notice that they're circling around one of the subject tables, and there's a Pauline that's got a bunch of bodyguards around him. Pauline are notorious members of the Black Sun, basically mafia. Are these those lizard guys? The lizard guys <laughs> who secrete pheromones. And it seems like these guys have split up and are surrounding and kind of slowly coming in super, super cautiously close to the guy. They're basically, you, you <coughs> get the definite impression that the Falline that they keep looking at is their target. Okay, so if I can get the Falline out of here and running, that'll keep them busy. I definitely think that would. Okay. But be unobtrusive. What can I do? I'm not on. Okay. <laughs> now, you do notice the Falline's got like four bodyguards around him. Yeah. Yeah, big, uh, beefy guys. Okay. What if we just started shooting? So have they noticed each other? The no. bodyguards have not noticed the falling because the falling's having a great time. He's drinking. Okay, I'm going to get, a, I'm gonna get a, I'm going to grab, I'll just walk by someone's table casually that's not okay. paying attention, grab their drink as I'm walking, spill a little on myself. Okay. Head over, and then just, you know, kind of drunkenly. Stagger in. Kind of oh, cool. put the bodyguards yep. on there. Smack into one of the bodyguards and say, and then, and then just, and, and as I bump into the guy, say, get him the hell out of here. And then look over at one of, you know, kind of bump the guy in the direction of one of these people and then just keep walking. So now the bodyguards are on the oh. Nice. Okay. As soon as you do that, the bodyguard kind of notices. But I keep going. I smash, I okay. kind of stumble at another table. Bodyguard and then, looks and does a double take of, uh, Shit, we should have bought that. Boss, and he starts elbowing his yeah. boss, who's, who instantly drops his chips on the table and just starts reaching under the table. So as this, what I want to happen is, as it erupts into chaos, I just put the drink down, stand up straight now, and then just walk out of the bar. Okay. So you see everything going to hell. And literally, it, literally, as soon as you walk through the doors, and they go, ch -ch, literally, guns are being drawn and blaster fire starts going off in the oh, casino. Oh, oh, yeah. Chaos ensues. <laughs> And the last thing you hear is you're stepping out of earshot is is probably a stun grenade or two going off in the distance. <gasps> okay, so you're beating feet to the hangar? Yep. Okay, and you're taking a nice leisurely pace to the hangar? Yep. You see, okay. they sent my two companions on stealth I already calm linked Scarlet they do saying not send. that uh, clearance has been secured. I have it. They send my two companions on stealthy missions. You do not set a hunt on a stealthy mission. <laughs> okay, so Pudge of the Hut. Pudge of the Hut. You're at the hangar. I am. 
You are outside the hangar here in the, the general walkway. Mm -hmm. Which door are you going to try to get through? The big cargo door or the smaller personnel door? Can I fit through the smaller door? You can actually fit through the smaller personnel door. I would go through that one. Okay, so how are you going to get into it? It is locked. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Do you have anything in computers? No, because that would require Do you have stuff. any... Uh, no, computers doesn't require stuff. It requires intelligence. Yes, exactly. Do you have skullduggery? Do I? That would be a good question that I should know, and I do. You do? Or do you want to blast the door open? Though you are in a public area. <clears throat> yeah, I'll try skullduggery. Okay, What's skullduggery. It it's going to get three purple. Okay. Let's spend a life tag point to gray head. Hey, yeah. Java played Leia like a fiddle. <laughs> I'm just saying, Whoa. that was pretty, you know. Uh-huh. Oh, remember, you get to upgrade one of your greens into a yellow for Oh, yeah, I didn't have it. I took away a green. You took I a green. Add yellow. All right, so that's, these are threats, right? Those are threats, yeah. So four threats. So one, one threat. Actually, zero threat and three successes. Three successes. The, the hut actually hacks the lock and <laughs> door opens up. And no threats? Uh, no threats. So you open the door, and as you do, you notice that there's a trend ocean coming down the ramp, and you can see he hits the button, and it goes up, and you hear a lock cycle. And there's two security droids sitting on both sides of him. So the trend ocean looks in charge. The trend ocean definitely looks like he's in charge here. Or at least he's holding down the ship. Well, then I know who is the target. When you say I'm in long range? Um, at the very cusp before long becomes medium, yes. Okay, so then I'm going to shoot him. I get an extra damage. You're going to shoot the droids, me? Yeah, no, the trend ocean. The trend ocean just went inside. Well, no, he came outside, oh, and then closed the, the ramp, and locked it behind him. Okay. Packer so, will find a way. Packer for, will always find a way. So you're going to shoot the Trend Ocean or the droids. Remember, you do have auto fire on your weapon. So for a pur an extra purple dice, you can try multi multiple targets. Nah. Nah? Or multiple targets. Let's go for the Trend Ocean. Okay. So go ahead, and it is long range. The very cusp of it. You probably won't be getting very close to them because you like long range. So it's going to be your heavy ranged versus three purple. Oh, yeah. Three. Uh, purple. Too many purple, to be honest. It's long range. You're going to get used to that. So, one success. One success. Perfect. That does. Uh. So, what that damage? damage? Is 13 your base damage? Uh, 11's, 11's the damage, plus 1 for the 1, which makes uh, which adds 1, and then plus 1 for being at long range with Barrage. Perfect, so 13. And it has Pierce 2. Oh, it does? Yes. Oh. So 13. That's going to ruin somebody's day. That is the goal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... Your shot goes through the air, Pierce 2, which means only two of that was stopped, which means damn. That's Your shot rings down. out, and the Trandoshan basically hits the deck with a smoking hole in his side. He is still alive, but the thing that connects him to, to life is very thin oh, right now. Shout, I suggest leaving. Oh, oh, oh. So, I make joke because he probably will not. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and give me a vigilance roll against no purple. What are the gonna do? Well, they're gonna bust into action right now. That's fine. Vigilance against what? Just straight vigilance for initiative, or for you, you can roll cool if you want. But for them, it's vigilance. So two successes and two advantages. So it's going to go NPC, PC, NPC. So, first off the bat is going to be the droids. Yes. They are going to shoot back at you. They will. Now, unfortunately for them, their weapons are only medium range, so they're actually going to get closer to you. 
So they basically are cutting the distance between you. So they're they're at medium range with you now. Which is not good for you because that cuts down on your damage potential. But it's good for them because they can now shoot you. You can take a lot of damage. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. They're a meat I do not. I do not feel too bad. Okay, first droid shoots. You are Damn! a bastard. And shoots really, Got really a well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Always so happens. Do you have any armor? Yes, but only at the so. Yeah. So you're going to so be you have taking five four soap. You're going to be taking six damage. So four, four soap. Four soap. Two of that. So so you, so you only take what two? Yeah. Okay. So two. And it's going to use the success for a crit. Can you crit against the hut? You can crit against the high. I don't. Well, we're going to show up in a second. First one yeah, is... Yeah, we're on our way. First one roll is the high. S- Just keep going for another minute. 73. So, you have hamstrung. Target loses his free maneuver until the end of the encounter. <laughs> <laughs> the hut has been hamstrung. That is last mistake you make, droid. Ah, ah, ah. But then the next droid shooting. Two successes, so seven points of damage. Well, how did two successes do more damage than the one with the triumph? Because the, the triumph only counts as one success. And oh. He right. uses triumph as a crit. So twelve. Okay. So six, seven for the second success. Yeah. Okay, and it is your turn. Okay. I'm gonna kill the Trandoshan. You're gonna kill the Trandoshan? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're gonna get a blue since, by the way, he is, you know, not really defensive right now. So add yourself a blue. So and against two purple. Yep, against three purple. Three purple. Long range. Long range. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Let's see. So a threat. One threat. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, no, is that? No, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. It's a wash? Yeah. Okay. So you shoot, but unfortunately, because the trend ocean is on his back on the ground, your shot yeah. hits the deck next to him and just blasts away. Happens to the best of them. Okay, so the trend ocean now is going to be getting up on his feet, going, whoa, whoa, and he just hisses at you. Nerd. And he unfortunately has no actual ranged weapons on him. So he is reaching behind his back and he is unsnapping a vibro axe. Oh dear. And he's going to be using his movements to get closer to you. So he will be at short range. We'll be there in a second. Just mm-hmm. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just at that point, Scarlet Guitar, Vasu, and Nier all pop up on this cargo lift. Cargo lift comes up with your team joining you. Blaster in hand, baby. Okay, so you guys go ahead and roll your vigilance. So one green or cool? Vigilance. It's going to be your vigilance. Whatever your whatever the vigilance score. Oh, I got a triumph. Damn. And two um, and two uh, advantages. Okay. He also got a triumph. And two successes. I wasted a triumph. Dang. Okay, one so. Hey, we rolled the exact same thing. I know, yeah. that's weird. That's bizarre. Dice buddies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as it pops up, Scarlet just shouts, Take them all out! And because you guys both rolled triumphs, you're at the top of the initiative order, so it's PC, PC, NPC, PC, NPC. Okay. You go first. You're the... the... Okay, I want, to, uh, I want to run and... Uh, Slide towards something I can get partial cover, but okay. as I'm sliding across the ground, I want to shoot. Oh, okay, so, so the Trandoshan is at short range. Short range. The, oh, who's about to the who's about to hit him with a vibro axe? Trandoshan. That's going to be the Trandoshan. Okay, so sliding, heading towards cover. So I want to end my move behind cover, and then okay. as I'm sliding across the ground, like you're giving him both right hit, it's like, and I get an extra shot because I because uh, you're going before him. Yes. Because you're, you're yes. a gunslinger. Yep. <laughs> okay, so it's at so two yellow short and two range, green. which is one purple. Okay. 
This is where we see how guns are lethal at short range. Okay. And I don't have stun turned on because it looks like this is a murder gunfight. Murder killer gunfight. Oh, pretty good. Pretty yeah. damn good. Good. Okay. So I got. I want to. I want to do it myself. Oh, I, think I can do it. Okay. So this is three successes, and those little things are advantages. So three successes, four advantages, and one failure. So two successes and one failure. Okay, so... And three advantages. Okay, what would you like to use your advan three advantages for? Um, I would like to use them to do something, get a die on my next round. Okay, so you're going to get a blue die on yes. your next, next attack? Yes. Okay, and what's the damage for your weapon? My damage is eight for each. Okay, now remember, you, could, you have to use three advantages to do... To okay, so I, I'll use that. Yeah. Okay, so you think... But no, one, I, I actually have paired... So okay. it's only two advantages. Does your thing cause you to do... Because if you're doing pair, you have to add one purple to your pair. Okay. Roll. Sorry. Okay, I'll do that. Then I... Okay. That's good. And then if you get enough advantages, you get to shoot with the second gun. Okay, got it. Okay. So... Which... Yeah, you, st you still got it. Okay, good. Okay, so you go out and give them both barrels, literally. Okay, and so. the Trandoshan just falls to the ground with huge, massive wound to his back that you didn't see, and you just put two small little needle point marks through his chest awesome. and he hits the ground. And just slide and keep going. Okay, I get okay. it. So just to recap, um, so the way it works is when I'm shooting twice, I have paired, so it makes it a little easier, mm -hmm. but I have to get enough advantages for the second gun. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you, you'll need to add, got if you're so using you one that's paired melee or paired range, you add an extra purple. Right. Got it. And so so if I hit, I hit. Out. It's just a question, yeah, do I hit with the other one? Yeah, it's... But first but shot is your successes, no, no, and then if you have three advantage, hit, the second yeah, yeah, shot hits, and by the way, you, you, you know how it's one yeah. success no, is your base no, damage and yeah. plus one for each additional success? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing for the other guy. Oh, awesome. Okay. So if you get a crap load of successes, both weapons do yeah. awesome. But I like that. If I hit, I, I still hit. Yeah, so your main gun is still shooting, It's your, yeah. whether your second uh -huh. gun hits or not. Okay. Same thing for like Xander's gun that has full auto. Got it. You can add an extra purple and do two shots, basically, so you can either choose I'm going to shoot this guy with multiple shots or I'm going to spray it between both of you guys. Okay, cool. So what happens next? All right, so. So that's a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening and may the fourth be with you. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. Ironically enough, that's Star Wars, Wars music. music. <laughs> that's very cool. I'm like, uh oh, okay, we, we, we might get stopped. We might get a cease and desist order. <laughs> I always feel that that tripod thing is just going to start walking across the table slowly. <laughs> and we'll all be like, okay, yeah, exactly. That's what this going to do. I like how this is recording. <clears throat> yep. Hey, that's what I would take. The real camera something. is on a little tripod. It'd be funnier. Yep. I'm going to take a picture of the camera on a tripod. So you want me to use the title? And we'll put. Uh -huh. <laughs>